Okay, so now that I have some time today, I wanted to basically go over um, something that I mentioned in a comment to uh, Rich, uh, Video Game um, Esoterica's video about the Pixel FX Morph 4K um, and scan lines. Um, so if you've clicked on this from the link underneath the comment that I made, you don't need the context for this. You already get it. Um, just check the description box of this, this video and skip ahead. For anyone who happens to have stumbled upon this video randomly without understanding the context, uh, basically um, the more 4K is a 4K scaler that only has HDMI input for right now. Uh, there will be an analog um, uh, input adapter that is released at the end of quarter two, 2024, so maybe in like a month or so. Uh, but until then, um, if you want to feed analog content into the more 4K, you have to use another device to sort of bridge that into it. So in that video, he was using a XRGB Mini Frame Meister um, to basically digitize and scale the image from 240p to 720p, which would be a 3x integer scale. Um, and then the HDMI output from that frame meister was being sent into the more 4k. And then the more 4k was taking that 720p image and doing a three X integer scale to 4k, um, which essentially results in a nine X integer scale from 240p all the way up to 4k, uh, just cause you know, three times three is nine. Okay. So for this, what I'm using, I'm actually using a RetroTINK 5X for this, um, whereas in the video he was using a FrameMeister, it doesn't matter what device you're using. Um, it's more so a universal principle that should be applied uh, based on how the more 4K sort of handles video content and generates scan lines based on the input resolution it sees. Um, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at this. This is Mario Kart 64. It's a 240p game running on the, running on the Nintendo 64. Um, so I'm having that 240p image upscaled to 720p with the Tink 5X, um, which you can see at the bottom of the more 4K OSD, it says 1280 by 720 p And then that is upscaling that to 3840 by 2160. So if we enable scan lines for this, the scan lines that are being generated are not correct for 240p because the more 4k doesn't know that 240p is being fed into it all it knows is that 720p is being fed into it and therefore it is generating scan lines based on a 720p image which which results in incorrect scan lines let's go ahead and zoom in by four times here um, so that way you can see what i mean if you look at Yoshi's um, sort of like a name box there there is a row of lighter colored gray pixels um, that sort of acts as a barrier between the name box and the character portrait. And on that lighter row of pixels, you see a bunch of scan lines running through that. That's not correct. That should not be happening. That's not how a CRT television draws scan lines because this is a, you know, 240p image that's just being upscaled. So the way it should be happening is there should be a row of pixels and then a blank scan line, then a row of pixels and a blank scan line, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, just like how a CRT would draw the image on its screen. Um, so because that's not happening here, it is basically generating far too many scan lines for this resolution image. So the way we fix this is we need to actually prescale the image. If you are upscaling something to 720p to feed it into the more 4K and you want to use scan lines, you need to prescale the image so that way the scan lines can be drawn um, in the correct positions within the image. And that way the more 4K does not generate too many scan lines for the content that you are scaling. So let's go to the scaler. Uh, as you can see right here, the vertical prescale is just set to auto, which is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, but if we prescale this by three and let's go ahead and increase it to nine X. We have at the bottom of the OSD, it says 1280 by 240 P, which, you know, Mario Kart 64 runs at 240 P. Um, and as a result, these scan lines are being drawn properly. Let's zoom back in and you can see what I was talking about earlier, how that um, lighter colored row of pixels in that name bar it has the row of pixels and then a blank scan line, et cetera, et cetera. That's how 240p scan lines are supposed to look. Um, and that's why it's important that if you are generating scan lines with the more 4K, 
if you're using a previously upscaled image, you need to prescale that back down to its original resolution of that, you know, video content. Otherwise, you end up getting scan lines that look incorrect in that there are far too many drawn uh, like this. So hopefully that sort of better explains um, what I was talking about, uh, just because like in the comment, like it's just a bunch of words and numbers and it can be kind of hard to, you know, uh, properly describe um, what uh, what what you mean whenever you don't have a visual representation of something that is, you know, based in visuals. So yeah, um, hopefully that explains everything and uh, feel free to leave a comment if you have any further questions about this, but yeah, hopefully it helped.